He sure is. This is Jimmy's grooming salon, where it costs around £30, a small fortune by local standards, to give your dog a Technicolor dream coat. Is this a fashionable thing now to be happening in China, to dye poodles? Yes, it is. I showed one of the styles. Uh -huh. This is David Beckham style. David Beckham? Yeah, you're a very famous star. Oh, yes. <laughs> Does it look? Very similar. <laughs> In fact, you're sure this isn't David Beckham? This isn't David Beckham. <laughs> yeah. The hair is like, you know. Yes, very much, yeah. yeah. Were you happy with your move to Real Madrid, or do you think you should have stayed with Manchester United? So, after a quick blow-dry and team photo, Beckham and his chums are reunited with their proud but much poorer owners. <laughs> I can't remember which bit of you is dyed. Is it white and you are naturally green, yellow and orange? Or is it the other way around? A few hours later, and still on the subject of dogs, we've given our Chinese minders the slip, because we're heading somewhere they didn't want us to see. There's a place which I understand specialises in, um, well, specialises in selling dog meat for human consumption. So, uh, I'm in the mood for a Labrador omelette or a Great Dane with noodles. This is known as Dog Street. Thanks very much. A haven for dog lovers of a very different kind. It's an unusual place in that every single shop here is a restaurant, every single one. And uh, there's again another one with a sort of dog up and another one here as well. This is the same kind of thing. What do you call this dish? Well, this morning we called it... Here, boy! Here, boy! Hello, hello, hello! <laughs> hello! It's delicious! Is it? What are you eating? Dog! Dog! Go on, what, what type of dog? Yes. They don't know the type of the dogs. Uh -huh. So, just the domestic dog. Uh -huh. um, brown dog is the best quality. Is and it? Then, yes, and then the black dog, and then the white dog. Uh -huh. As I don't know the Chinese for brown dog, I decided to invite my new friends to join me for dinner. This table here? Yes. OK, yes. all right, let's get in there then. Um, so these are all dog here. Is there one that you'd particularly recommend? This one. Fried dog meat. Fried, fried dog meat? Yeah, fried dog meat. OK. This is my favourite, yes. OK. And you have no worries, because you know that some people in the West would, would think that eating dog would be a terrible thing to do. It's our one of a tradition. Maybe we can have a dessert tradition first. Yeah, yes. okay. <laughs> so do um do you have a pet dog or a pet cat yourself? Pet dog? A do an animal that you have in your house that you do you, you take for walks and you feed, you know, like a pet dog? Uh, You're not familiar with the phrase pet dog? No, okay. <laughs> but you know the you know the term fried dog? Yes. Okay, good. Alright. <laughs> well the food's arrived so quickly, it must be a greyhound. I'm tempted to say it looks like dog food, but of course that's exactly what it is. My fellow diners don't hesitate to dig in, but I'm having second thoughts. How is it? Is it good? I love it. Yeah. Uh -huh. OK, nothing ventured, nothing gained. No, it's no good. I just can't seem to bring myself to eat this. It's my association with what it is, the happy dogs we saw earlier today, and I can't get them out of my head. So, well, I understand people here love it. It's, it's difficult to eat something that you might have taken for a walk earlier in the day. I can see why they didn't want us to film in Dog Street, given British sensitivity towards our pets. But in a culture that has endured famine, feeding empty bellies always takes priority. The thing is, I'm still hungry. So I'm off to find Cat Street. Here, push, 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 push. Here, push, 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 push. Here, push, push.